The pneumatic system supplies air for air conditioning, wing and engine anti-ice, engine starting, and other airplane systems. Air for the pneumatic system can be supplied by the engines, the APU, or a pneumatic ground cart. The controls and indicators for the pneumatic system are located on the overhead panel. The switches and lines on the pneumatic panel are arranged in a simplified schematic of the system and represent actual valves and ducting. Engine number one supplies air to the left pneumatic duct and engine number two to the right pneumatic duct. The pneumatic ducts supply bleed air to their respective wing anti-ice valves and air conditioning packs. Bleed air is normally supplied from the fifth stage or low pressure section of the engine. At low thrust settings or when system demands are high, the high pressure section of the engine provides additional bleed air for the system. If the volume of air from the fifth stage is insufficient for the system demand, the ninth stage modulating and shutoff valve opens and that bleed air augments the supply. A check valve in the fifth stage line ensures the proper direction of airflow. When the bleed switch is positioned on, an open signal is sent to the bleed valve. The DC electrical signal allows the engine bleed air pressure to pneumatically open the bleed air valve and provide bleed air to the pneumatic system. The engine bleed valve acts as a pressure regulator, a shutoff valve, and a reverse flow check valve. Engine bleed air is hot and requires cooling. The hot air is cooled by fan air passing through a pre-cooler. A thermostatically controlled pre-cooler valve automatically regulates the volume of fan air required for cooling. If the temperature downstream of the engine bleed air valve is excessive, the respective engine bleed valve automatically closes. The bleed trip off light, the master caution, and the air conditioning enunciator lights illuminate. If the pressure upstream of the engine bleed air valve is excessive, the respective engine bleed air valve automatically closes. The bleed trip off light, the master caution, and the air conditioning enunciator lights illuminate. Pushing the trip reset button returns the system to normal operation after an over temperature or over pressure bleed trip off. The master caution and air conditioning enunciator lights extinguish. The APU bleed air switch is used to control the APU bleed air valve, similar to the engine bleed air valve. This valve requires 28 volt DC power supplied from the battery bus. With the APU bleed switch on, the APU bleed valve opens when the APU is operating. The APU supplies air directly to the left pneumatic duct. Air may also be supplied by a pneumatic ground cart. The ground cart supplies air directly to the right pneumatic duct. An isolation valve separates the left and right pneumatic ducts. AC power is required for isolation valve operation. The isolation valve switch has three positions, close, auto, and open. The normal position of the switch is auto. Let's examine the auto position of the switch in more detail. With the switch in auto, the isolation valve is controlled by the position of the pack and engine bleed switches. If both engine bleed switches are on and both pack switches are auto or high, the isolation valve will be closed. This isolates the left and right sides of the pneumatic system so that each engine supplies air to one pack. This is normal in-flight condition. With the isolation valve switch in auto and either an engine bleed or pack switch off, the isolation valve opens. In this example, the number two engine bleed switch and left pack switch are off. The isolation valve is open 
connecting the left and right pneumatic ducts. The APU bleed switch has no effect on isolation valve operation. Pneumatic pressure is sensed on each side of the isolation valve and displayed on the duct pressure indicator. The L pointer indicates the pressure in the left duct and the R pointer the pressure in the right duct. This indicator requires AC power. If the isolation valve is open, both pressure indications are the same. The correct answer is C. With the isolation valve switch in auto, the isolation valve opens when either engine bleed switch is positioned off or when either pack switch is positioned off. Therefore, the isolation valve is open. Overheat detector loops are installed along the pneumatic ducts to detect bleed air leakage. The detectors follow the ducting from the engine and APU bleed valves to the air conditioning packs. When an overheat condition is detected, the respective wing body overheat, the air conditioning enunciator, and master caution lights illuminate. A dual bleed light is located above the pneumatic control panel. When there is a possibility of back pressuring the APU, the dual bleed light illuminates. When the dual bleed light illuminates, the air conditioning enunciator and master caution lights also illuminate. This condition exists with the number one engine bleed air switch on and the APU bleed air valve open. A dual bleed condition also exists when the isolation valve is open, the number two engine bleed air switch is on, and the APU bleed air valve is open. Now let's discuss normal operation. During ground operation prior to engine start, the normal supply of bleed air for the pneumatic system is the APU. For an engine start using the APU, the engine and APU bleed switches are on and the isolation valve switch is in auto. Position the left and right pack switches to off. Recall that this will cause the isolation valve to open. This ensures all bleed air is available to the starters. A minimum of 30 PSI at sea level is required for normal engine start. Illumination of the dual bleed light is a normal indication during the engine start operation. After engine start, Positioning the APU bleed switch to off will extinguish the dual bleed light. Air from a pneumatic ground cart may also be used to start the engines. The isolation valve must be open. The APU bleed valve is closed to prevent the possibility of the ground cart or engine bleed air from entering the APU. During a cross bleed start, an operating engine is used as the pneumatic source to start the other engine. In this example, engine number two bleed air is being used to start engine number one. The automatic feature of the isolation valve ensures that the isolation valve is open. Air is now available to the engine number one starter. Note that the APU bleed switch is off during a cross bleed start. The correct answer is C. Positioning the APU bleed switch to off eliminates the possibility of back pressuring the APU with engine bleed air. After the APU bleed valve closes, the dual bleed light extinguishes. Now let's look at configuring the pneumatics panel for a normal takeoff. For a normal takeoff, each engine is supplying bleed air to its respective air conditioning pack. 
Both pack switches are in auto. The isolation valve switch is in auto. Both engine bleed switches are on. And the APU bleed switch is off. The airplane may be operated in a no-engine bleed configuration for takeoff or landing if needed. The airplane will be pressurized using APU bleed air during this procedure. After engine start or during descent, position the right pack switch to auto, the isolation valve switch to close, and the left pack switch to auto. Next, position the number one bleed switch to off and the APU bleed switch to on. This allows bleed air from the APU to flow to the left pack. The last step is to position the number two engine bleed switch to off. Notice that this operation is performed using a letter C pattern flow. Review these steps as you trace the C pattern. Following a no engine bleed takeoff or landing, the panel is reconfigured to allow the engines to supply bleed air to their air conditioning pack. First, position the number two bleed switch to on. This allows the number two engine to supply air to the right pack. Next, position the APU bleed switch to off. Position the number one bleed switch to on, then place the isolation valve switch to auto. The pneumatic panel is now configured for normal in-flight or ground operations. The APU is not required as a bleed air source. Notice that this procedure uses a reverse letter C pattern. Review these steps as you trace the pattern. Pneumatic ground cart use, cross bleed starts, and no engine bleed operation are all covered in the supplementary normal section of your operations manual. This completes the discussion of the pneumatics system.